What other kind of writings do you writing do you do? Do you have uh, experiment in other genres? Do you uh, what what's your? We become yeah. very good emailers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. Do you have a blog or anything? I, I thought I had seen we, something like that. We don't necessarily have a blog. We haven't, uh, and we we certainly don't Twitter because uh, we have to do things more than update our status. We're way wordier than that. Mm -hmm. So we uh, do have Facebook pages, and we do have MySpace, and we do have um, a travel journal on the, mm -hmm. uh, the website. website. Mm -hmm which we try to regularly update because there's always bizarre things happening to us when we travel. So mm -hmm. it's uh, always a good place to go and check out how ridiculous we get. Now, what are the bizarre things that have happened lately that you've written about? <laughs> oh, just missing... <laughs> missing flights missing and gigs mm. and flat, flat tires. tires. Um, mm. um, opening for a hip-hop band, that was interesting. Mm. Um, how did that go with yeah. crossover oh, genres? Oh, you know, the guys were really nice. But yeah, uh, we learned some new language. <laughs> yeah. Really? Yeah, it was <clears throat> fantastic. Great yeah. night. I, uh, I'm not going to ask about that no, uh, because we have yeah censors. Uh, uh, tell me about the writing of your latest album, uh, one one kiss. Um, that was interesting. One more kiss. Tell me. Yeah. Uh, that was interesting. Mostly we go by you know when when the the need fills you, you write mm -hmm. a song. Um, but this one we actually clocked on and clocked off because we had another time um, constraint. Uh, we had to get it done. Oh, it was in six months, I think. It was maybe six even a three months, three I think, we time. needed to write an album so, in three months. So we went, okay, well, we had a week in Texas um, that we weren't doing any gigs. So we basically got clocked on at 10 a.m., clocked off at 12, had some lunch, clocked on again at 1, clocked off at around 3 or 4. Banker's hours. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. And, um, but that was, and, and made it a goal for every day to at least have, uh, if not a song, and, and the tune, the melody, and the lyrics written, um, then very, very close to it. Okay. And um, we did that for at least a week. And it was great. It ended up mm. being a really great experience. Um, it was scary to begin with because, mm. you know, oh, you've got to have something. Um, did you wear ties? <laughs> and, uh, yeah. You know, uh, yeah, we had secretaries and mm -hmm. we took regular coffee breaks. And we'd actually t play to somebody that night. Something, oh, that okay. night, which was a really good thing to do. It was. It was, to, it was to test it out on yeah. somebody, a test audience. Well, tell me about, um, I know you do house concerts, which is mm. sort of a new sort of phenomenon, I think, uh, with touring. New, old. New, okay. old. Yeah. Uh, well, I think it was like the 60s, there were things like this, and then oh, yes. it sort of okay. made a yeah. return. But tell me about uh, working with uh, something like that, because then you get much more, uh, much quicker feedback. Mm. I'm, uh, Assuming people will go to them and say, "Oh, I like that. I didn't like that. Mm -hmm. Here's why I like that." What? How does that impact you as writers? How much of that feedback do you take in? Oh, all of it. Um, I think we take more. Pro I personally probably take more from house concerts because it's an incredibly intimate uh, setting for people to experience the music, and you're, they're so close to you, um, and they're more relaxed because they are in a home situation. Mm -hmm. So you tend to get a lot of emotional feedback from your music immediately, mm -hmm. a lot more than you would in a venue where people are standing in social groups and interacting and you need to catch their attention. Mm -hmm. They mm -hmm. are already there and concentrated on the music more than they would be in a venue. They don't have the distraction of a bar or they don't have the distraction of other people making noise around them. They're incredibly quiet and respectful places, mm -hmm. which can be a bit freaky if you're from Australia and mm -hmm. used to noisy pubs. They, they mm. don't know each other and they're sitting right next to mm. each other, so it's that audience feel. But then they share a meal, everyone brings something and they share mm. something in half time. Mm. And then you get, that's more of a party feel. So everyone's interacting. And then they sit differently after the second half. Body mm. language is different, it, isn't it? It's incredible. It's actually, uh, I would rather do two two sets in that, in that situation mm. rather than one because you get a, a totally different audience after the second mm. half. Have you had the police called on you when you're doing any of these? If you <laughs> not no, as not yet, yet. Yeah. And, 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 we, and we, we're pretty loud. We are. We're not. We're not. Uh, we're not tame folk singers. Although our ballads are very, uh, well, they could be in that genre. We yeah. can be. We can be quiet if we need to. But we haven't had any dr dramas with the police. The other thing that works really well for us is people are almost to down to the wire with the last person willing to buy your CDs and whatever else you mm. have there more than they are in a venue. They don't feel the pressure to do it as much and they like being in the home situation that's a lot more relaxed and they feel a lot happier. They want to support. They, they yeah. want to support you doing Because mm. it's grassroots, I think, maybe mm. as well. They, they think they're part of something. 
yeah. a part of a movement yeah. and uh, possibly helping you get your career to the venue level. Mm. <laughs> or they the can see you step. and then you can ignore them. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> writing okay. to be inaccessible so, is what it is. Right, yeah. Yeah, writing to yeah. be inaccessible. I like that. That's mm. uh, uh, a pop um, goal, writing yeah. to be inaccessible. I think it is. <clears throat> what led to the writing of the song on One More Kiss? Walking with my eyes closed to the world. Mm. Which one of you had her eyes closed? Or both of you, I take it. <laughs> it was just a line that came out to the, to the melody. Yeah. Um, and, and then it, it started to be embracing that feeling of when you first meet someone and the only, the only focus that you have is on that immediate person who you're having that chemistry with. Everyone fades into the background. You tend to lose friends' phone numbers and you, you tend to lose all your social skills. So it is about being, especially in the first week or first few weeks of a young love, mm -hmm. about not seeing anything else other than the person that you're with. So uh, it's metaphorically a pretty accurate description for that. I mean, if I go back into the deep, dark recesses of my mind, I can vaguely remember that feeling. <laughs> vaguely. Vaguely, okay. Yeah. Why folk? Why not a different genre? Mm. What is there about folk pop that folk allows you to Folk is so express? large. I mean, a, a folk, it, it, it encompasses everything. I mean, we can be really, really loud, rocky type people, mm -hmm. or we can be incredible balladeers. Mm. And, and pop, pop, I don't know, pop, kind of lends itself to that a little mm -hmm. bit but not quite as much as an acoustic guitar mm -hmm. does. Is it the same kind of uh, categories in Australia as it is in the US where um, folk carries a connotation of all, um, like Pete Seeger-ish mm. I think sort mm. of feeling but it, I'm yeah. getting the sense that it's not quite that like that? I think it's folk is, a, is too general a term for what t seems to be an awfully wide range of a I th it would be better off saying it's acoustic music, yeah. mm -hmm. only because it, you, it's mostly acoustic guitars instead of electric guitars. Um, and everything that you can encompass within that would take it out of being called folk. Folk is very narrow, yeah. and I feel the same way when I, I come to America and we say we're folk. It's a little bit like we're not Peter, Paul and Mary, we're no. not that Pete Seeger that's kind folk. of deal. We're not Arlo Guthrie or that's any folk. of those things. Yeah. And that's folk. too there's narrow. Pop. There's rock. Yeah. There's a punk, there's um, hip hop, and folk or acoustic music. I think that's a much better term. Sure. Acoustic music is everything that doesn't fit into those boxes. Mm -hmm.